forget to be in the building or catch it live on pay-per-view stream. Before we even talk about this Saturday, there's a there's a topic going around I want to throw at, throw at most of the vets that I get a chance to interview. And that's this rehearsing and this writing together type of stuff. I'm pretty sure you heard about it. I see you on social media a lot. What's your thoughts on that? And have you ever done it? Uh, I've never done it. First for one, I've never done that. I have enough. I have a hard enough time feeling comfortable to let certain people hear my material. Honestly, mm. you know, so it's no way I'm gonna let my opponent hear it. Um, but yeah, man, I feel like it's a it's a to each his own situation. I feel like if people was going to do that, it should have stayed behind the scenes. I don't think it should have been something that should have ever been brought to the forefront of battle rap. Um, it just makes the it just makes the content look a little more watered down. It makes things look a lot less natural. You know, especially when you when you have certain battlers when it comes to things like rebuttals and stuff of that nature. You know, so I, I it's like it just opens up a whole nother playing field. You know, I've never done it. Um I see the perks in it. I will say that. You know, honestly I see the perks. You know, it's all it's some positives to it, it's some negatives to it. I feel like it's more negatives than positive stuff. So that's why I would Yeah, shout out to John Rons. I've seen a perspective from him in one of his blogs talking about it. And he said the element of the opponent's reaction to the balls is something that you lose. And I didn't, I almost forgot about how crazy that is. Like, let's use an example of like me, you, and show off, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when you throw that angle at me, like imagine if either one of us, me or show, knew that. Like, that's all mm -hmm. genuine reactions that's happening to what you're bringing up on exactly. stage. Even losing that, being able to see the person's face, like, oh, hold on, is what he just said true? Like, those reactions being gone is, is just another element to it, but I hope that's on your negative list because um yeah I, I agree with you it far outweighs the positives. Yeah, yeah, and no, I definitely because and um you know like I said you like you said with that uh incident in particular I'm still going in and I'm still going in there myself in the dark not knowing how you may react to it or or not knowing how show off may react to it you know so I think all those elements matters in battle rap uh how it's received to how the uh fan base receives it matters and also it's a lot of shit that you can do in a battle to get your opponent off their rocker you know i i feel like a lot of those situations all a lot of that essentially goes out the window once you start rehearsing together when you when you said to get your opponent off the rocker so you're you're a supporter of defense, other than, of course, talking through somebody's rounds. But you're supporting like defensive type of tactics and shit when you're not rapping. Give me an example of something that you would do defensively. Uh, when I'm not rapping? Yeah. I try to tune out whatever my uh, opponent is saying. You know, here and there, I listen to things uh, for per for rebuttal purposes, possible rebuttal purposes. You know, but as, as much as possible, I try to tune out what they're saying so, they, so it doesn't affect what I have going on and what I have set in my game plan, you know, whereas you can get lost into your opponent round. If your opponent is going off and this is all natural material that you've never heard, you can actually forget your own material. I've we seen said people, that every day. Yeah. Like you, you can cause, you can cause your opponent to choke in battle rap. Yep. You know, yep. and as a, as a competitor, why would you even want to take that away? We was literally saying that same example the other day in one of the interviews out there. I forget if, whether it was the group of us or a one-on-one -on -one that I did. We said that same thing. Somebody could be bombing yeah. on you so much that you can choke. You could you could lose your spot. You could lose mm -hmm. your shit. And um, I think yeah. like all all those those authentic interactions, man, that you just don't have with that rehearsal element. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad to hear that from another vet like you as your position on it. So I just want to take the opportunity to ask people like yeah. you. And you know, attack on, uh, to tack on another thing about that also, it's very limited who you can even do that with. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, 
you got people who oh, refer, rehearse with this person or I would rehearse with this person. I guarantee you they wouldn't rehearse a battle with a DNA, with the likes of DNA or a hollow to die, or Charlie Clips for that matter. Yeah. You would be a fool yeah. to let Charlie Clips hear your material Anything, before y'all yeah. say that <laughs> Anything that he got, 1,000%. What is also funny too, another one that we said the other day when we was doing an interview, we used Jay Murder as far as defense, right? Mm -hmm. And niggas talked about that M1 step around. Mm -hmm. And then I said to niggas, I was like, it's almost a haymaker in the building when Old Red blocked it. Yeah. Because Murder was so known for it. And you was mm -hmm. the one that was rapping. So he tried to do the step around and you stepped back. You was like, nah, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah. that made the whole crowd go up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't yeah. do that shit unless it's just like. But anyway, all right. So off that, um, we gotta we gotta get to the to the main to the main point of uh why I want to grab you real quick. I just was on with active. Mm -hmm. Um he was talking his talk. Why why was you up here with active, man? <laughs> nah, I'm not such <laughs> don't make me roast you for that recent Instagram post that I texted you the other day. Hey yo, listen, man. That was when I first got my cut, man. Thanks for spinneroni, you hear me? <laughs> spinneroni. <laughs> As if I could talk, right? I'll pull up some old school throwback <laughs> pictures. All I could do is defend myself with pictures and shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all good, Matt. But um, yeah, I just I just was up here with Act. Um, I've seen the type of energy you can give off in battles. Um, you've always been a a, a veteran, a respectful guy on stage, but you could bring certain energy. Mm -hmm. I done seen you shoulder check murder, and I done seen you get in niggas' faces and do your thing. Yeah. I think Act got that energy for this battle. Um, how do you feel about it being rebooked? Let's let's start there. Uh, I I actually wanted that wanted it to happen sooner than it actually happened, you know. But in the same token, I also said I wanted him to get a, receive a certain look, you know, that I feel like he missed out on when it didn't happen when it was supposed to. So uh, I'm definitely uh, I'm actually happy it got pushed back to this car this specific car i would say that you know um different type of energy you know crowd gonna be in the building everybody get to see us work um as far as the energy i'm a firm believer in matching energy you know so <laughs> whatever you whatever you dish out no like I, I might respect it i might let you rock with it but it's coming back it's that simple you know with, even with me and jay murder you know i didn't expect him to show to bump me and all that you know but okay cool and murder got under your skin in the face off. I remember that. Uh, he started. He, he was saying a bunch of things that I don't think that you you heard before. And you was like, "Yo, why is it? <laughs> why am I hearing this now?" And then he comes out and opens up that round with his shoulder. But I know you was like, "This motherfucker." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was it like that's a. It goes back to what I was saying, like to get your opponent off the rocker type situation. He almost got me there. You know, he almost got me there. Um, but. I'm a professional, man. A professional. So the only the only thing I have one worry about this battle. You're mm -hmm. a smart guy. Me and you didn't had some real intellectual back and forth over the years. I'll give you a guess. What's my only worry about this battle? Um, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> it ain't my worry. I'm pretty sure you know, but uh, okay. Yeah, I, I'll snatch it. It's the fact that you guys could have a real interactive face off. Mm. And then I got to relive you and Jack. Oh, yeah. Nah, this, it's not. That's not. It's not going to get to that point. Like I said, I just learned. I learned. Uh, I learned from things, you know. Um, and for those I, that don't know, we're I talking about rather, loss of voice, y'all. Yeah, we're talking this, about loss of voice. Yeah. And this. Okay, okay. Uh, I go about things completely different for everything that I don't, I'm not reacting to bars in the building and stuff, you know, whether it's my friends battling or anything like that, you know, cause I'm a, I'm a fan of battle rap. I'm a big ass fan. So I'm part of those crowd reactions y'all hear when you hear room shakers that like I'd be going crazy. Like I feel like a huge part of, uh, me and Jack's situation also was uh, the battle rappers who went before us that I was reacting to. And then the, me yelling in the face off. So it's just, I go about things differently. One of them being, uh, I always 
you know, keep Halls in tea with me. Um, I would rather have a mediocre or unentertaining face-off than to risk, you know, messing up the product at the on the back end. And um, yeah, I'm not listening to battle rappers when I'm in the venue anymore. Right. So. I'm well, that, that, that was my only concern that's because the, that's the, that y'all my had. battle is the objective for me uh, always from here on out so anybody who battles after me yeah i'll be a, be rooting for you reacting to your bars very naturally if you rap before me i can't i can't do nothing for you partner that's 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 a smart yeah. adjustment that's yeah. a smart adjustment because yeah. um yeah, that's my only worry is that the fact that you guys might have a couple things to say to each other at the face off and i'm like oh wait a minute you know, active may not be as much at, as a face at a face off like a jag. You might not have red in there arguing with them, but they might got some shit to say. And oh lord, man, like we can't have no. But you made adjustments, so that's dope. That's yeah. dope. All right, so um, yeah, this this is being rescheduled. Like you said, you you happier that it's on this this card now. Mm -hmm. Um, what's your prep been like? Any change of bars that that really constitute the difference of energy? Because I know you've seen all his interviews. You know what we was out there in the A. Yeah, you know, when, a few, when the first I did time. a few. Uh, I did a few rearrangements and things like that. A couple edits. You know, for the most part, the structure is the same. You know, um, because like I said, when we were post the battle, I was a hundred percent ready. So I never, I never touched my material because I knew that at any point in time it could be a red. We're gonna do the battle this weekend. You up for it? And yeah, I'm with this. You know, same thing with Award. You know, uh, me and Award had to get yeah. rescheduled. Me and Award wound up battling maybe three, four, or five days later, something like that. You know. Yeah, we came, came to out, Jersey pretty came quick. Out yeah. Crazy. That was a crazy battle. You know, yeah. so it was the same type of situation. You know, I I didn't want to. Oh, I didn't took this material from here, or I didn't use half of this round, so I left everything the same up until I would say about maybe a week and a half ago, and I only edited things that were more telling me to him. You know, so yeah. If anything, he might get a more direct approach, but yeah, man, for the same for the for the most part, yeah, it's the same three headshots. 